You can feel so overwhelmed and frustrated at the world you see around you, especially when you can't express your opinion very well because of restrictions in emotion and algorithms, stuff like that. And, you know, one of the things that I really am, like, quite passionate about is, and it's going to sound like the opposite to what anything else you hear anywhere else, but I, I can't stand the fact that we blame single people for the way the world becomes <laughs> as if like nine billion people on the planet or even just millions like hundreds of millions in a, in a country have a, you know one person has the ability to be blamed for that i mean isn't that like absolutely crazy you know when you hear about these uh you were about all right we should be naming and shaming um people all over who, who've got a, a position of influence but that's exactly my my point if um if you've got a p position of influence like you've been voted into be the prime minister, like, say, Boris Johnson, right? He's not to blame for what went on. Everybody is. You all played the game. Do you see what I mean? Everybody played the game. And I'm not saying us. I'm talking about the, the public, like every, all the normies, all the all the NPCs that need to, need to fit in and, and need to virtue signal and make themselves part of the world because they haven't got one bit of creativity left in them at all nothing they are just followers and the trouble is with followers is that they they become most of the nation um when times are good um and for them and the trouble is um we can't keep blaming like one particular person around the world for what goes on because th th they don't have the power it's the followers it's all the people who, who who support it and uphold it you look at right let's Let's talk about this this bullshit of because I'm fed up with like worming my way around words and try having to change them. Like I said in a previous video, I end up with just link words left. There's no true words left in my videos. It's like all I've got left that I can actually speak truly is like the and and all the link words that links and everything else is a code word. And I've just had enough of it. Um, and I'm just going to give it a go like this until I get banned or whatever else happens because I've broke some some imaginary rule somewhere that, that a computer system tells me I can't do. But, um, but yeah, the, the trouble is, see, is that during 2020, when there was lockdown and we went through all that bullshit, Boris Johnson didn't knock on my fucking door and make me put my mask on, okay? He didn't. I know you all want to create this evil boogie person, but that's how they get away with it. They get away with it because they put these people up at the front and they stick them on the media and they spread them all across all the newspapers and say, this is the man that enslaved you. This is the man that did this. This is the man that did that. Yes, they might have had a big role in, in whatever's going on, but they were nothing without your conformity. And that's the thing. And I don't mean you guys. I Fuck me. I, I never wore a fucking mask anywhere, right? And I won't even wear one in building. And I never have. And I never will. I've been put off masks for life. I never had one jab. I didn't give a fuck if I say a COVID vaccination. I didn't have one jab. Nothing. I didn't go to the doctors. I didn't take one fucking test. Not one fucking test. And I was being told I'm not allowed to go on holiday. I was being told I'm not allowed to leave my, my house by people around me. Not by Boris Johnson. He didn't come on knock on my fucking door. All right? So is people around. Is people around us that have been enslaving us is not is not these people that you you give too much power and credit to them is the fucking npcs is the npcs that i've just had enough of and you could probably tell the frustration in my voice today because i'm fed up with being shut up you end up feeling like a coil spring they have you exactly where they want you ready to kick off and i just feel like i've got to let some of this out i've got to say what i actually think uh, about the world and about people and the human race are absolute scum. I'm telling you, about 70% of the people out there want you fucking dead for their own means. And they want you demoralized and demoted and enslaved. And that's just the truth of it. And there's about 30% of us, if, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, there's about 30% of us that still believe in the old ways. And when I say the old ways, I don't believe... I don't believe we ever got anything perfect, but I'm certainly a lot freer, you know, during the 1980s and 90s than I've ever been now. And they so say making improvement, progressions, and, you know, all this sort of stuff. And I'm not talking about me as a white person. I'm talking about the planet. I'm talking about the, the Western civilization, sorry. You know, 
Um, there's plenty of people in the countries that enslave their population, but they don't. It's the people around them who obey a virtue signal and go out of their way to report and restrict and demoralize and anything you do. So even if you're even if you're sat there and you're demoralizing someone who wants freedom or they won't wear their mask or you're or you're just making them feel a bit awkward, then you're part of the problem. You see what I mean? I'm not wearing a mask. I'll never, I don't give a fuck what rules. I'll die on that fucking doorstep. I'm telling you. If they, if I, I said, I said, so here you are. You want to hear some fucking truths about the world rather than speaking in, in code all the time. I said during COVID, if I had one person, I don't care who they were. I don't care what their status was in the country. I don't care how important they were. Or, or what laws they'd been given to operate under or anything else. If one person would have knocked on my fucking front door during 2020 and told me and mentioned COVID and tried to enter my doorstep under anything to do with COVID, mass vaccinations or anything or illnesses or tests or anything like that. Every part of their body that crossed that threshold of that door, that spiritual fucking barrier would have been taken down. And I mean it. They would have been taken down. I was ready. I was ready to go for anybody who wanted to walk through that door to try and take me off to some camp or trying to take me away to some quarantine center or to try and make me have something that I don't want. They would have, there, there wouldn't have been a part of their body that didn't end up on the floor in pieces if they tried to cross that barrier. And I was real about that. I'll let a lot of things happen. I'll let a lot of things go, but I wasn't going to back down on that. And I won't again. I don't care what you... So when I say you, I'm not on about the people who necessarily are watching this video. I'm on about the fucking NPCs around the world. They they are going to get some if they try to... I never got fucking approached. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? Those chicken shit NPCs never approached me. I had a few look at me. They were getting a bit brave. And I fucking give them that look. And, and you all know that look. If you're a bloke, you know that look. It's like you fucking come anywhere near me and you say a word and you're done is the complete and utter continuous eye contact of somebody. And then knowing that deep in your soul, you've got something that lives inside that can never live inside of them that will bash them down like a fucking spiritual force that they've never felt before. They will, they will, I will be glued to that ground and I will not go down. I will fight to the death. And they knew that. These people who were, you know, I always remember one guy in a petrol station and I was, I, I queued on the arrow. Right. It's what it don't, I'm not going to go up to him and breathe all over him. I'm not an asshole. You know what I mean? I know what I'm doing. I can I can sort myself out. But I'm also not going to wear the mask. I'm not going to be vaccinated. So I'm stood there on this in this in this petrol station, and I'm I'm stood on the arrow and I'm facing the arrow. I'm, I'm, I literally stood on it, right, so he can't see it. And the filthy looks he's giving me because he's got to walk past me to go out the door, and I'm on the right direction. I'm doing everything I should be doing. So I stepped off the arrow and I and I and I just stared him out. And he stood there in his fucking suit like this beta prick with skinny arms who's just been empowered by by you know by Boris Johnson, whoever else you want to see you, you want to blame it, they they want to blame it on. He's just been empowered, right? And that's the trouble. Is these motherfuckers, they were activated. And I truly mean that. They were actually activated. It, it was like someone threw a switch and there was an electronic force that went through them all that made them activated. We saw the way that they treated us. And I'll never forget it and I'll never forgive. And every single one of those motherfuckers that I remember doing that, they are gone. I, I will savage them if they ever try and fucking act all normal. They, they're, they're out there. They're in the silent. I, I know who you are. I, I know who they are, the ones who fucking wanted to lock me up and uh, and have me restricted, you know. And and, and, I, and they, they destroyed a lot of what I had and a lot of what I did. So, I, yes, I am... Um, I am still very angry about that and there will be a day of reckoning and that day of reckoning is coming. Um, I don't know what form it's going to take, but I do know that uh, it's probably going to be, it's going to be non-violent. Let's put it that way. You know, let's, let's keep within those algorithms a little bit. You know, we need to do something about it, but it's going to be non-violent because they're going to eat themselves because no longer can they feed off of me like they used to. Those motherfuckers ain't got nothing left. They got nothing left. They are dying around me. And good riddance. If you if you try to stop me from going out and doing my job, like I did, I stopped from going out and doing my job, and you tried to make me wear a mask and make my, me and my children 
and my missus take an injection or anything like that and go fuck yourself. As far as I'm concerned, you're, you are, um, you deserve everything you fucking get. Now I feel sorry for the genuine ones in amongst that who played by the game. They didn't make anybody else do anything. They just played by the game because they're like, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to stand out. I haven't, either they haven't got the strength to defend for themselves. They haven't got a backup around them. I mean, me, I would have just died on the hill. You know, that's me. I'm just, I've always been like that. I'll just, uh, I'll go down fighting. If I, if I ever do go down, I'll go down fighting. You know, but um, there's certain things that I would that I would uh, happily um, defend with my life, and and that's just the way it is. And that's going to take me on to the next video, which is going to be Killdozer.